Just a few quick tips on forgiveness. Number one, you have to define forgiveness for yourself. After all, you cannot give to others what you have no idea you're giving. Number two, you have to ask yourself, am I a forgiving person? Do I, am I a good person? Do I feel good when I forgive? Another thing to um, tell yourself is that you have a choice. You, you, you have the choice um, to forgive or not. Uh, now, if you're a religious person, I understand the Bible says, you know, um, it's, it's, a, it's a mandate and a requirement, but you still have the option of how you choose to forgive when you choose to forgive. Um, uh, because obviously, you know, godly speaking, he would not want you to suffer the consequences of prematurely forgiving. Forgiving doesn't mean that um, you forget, doesn't mean it was okay, the behavior. It simply means I am cutting the toxic cord that's connecting me to you. Another thing is that if you can't forgive, like a broad, a broad swipe of forgiveness, itemize your forgiveness. I've said this before in other videos. Um, oftentimes, forgiveness shouldn't be the goal. Healing should be the goal, and forgiveness comes naturally. Know that forgiveness is for you. It's a gift to yourself. It's to say, I don't want this ball and chain around my feet, my leg anymore, my ankle. I'm going to cut it. That's what forgiveness is. Now, if you're reconciling, certainly forgiveness is going to po pose its own issues. Um, and if you're not reconciling, you know, because forgiveness doesn't mean you have to sit down and have tea with somebody every Tuesday and break bread with them. It just means I'm releasing this toxic part of you from uh, causing me chaos because forgiveness really um, it, it what it does is gives you peace it says I'm done with this chaos I, I don't want this chaos anymore I want peace um, so define forgiveness and start working on forgiving so you can give yourself one of the best gifts in life